There is no life I know to compare with pure imagination. Living there, you'll be free if you truly wish to be. Hello, ladies and gentlemen and welcome to our 2020 Thespian Banquet. I'm your president, Canyon Ramos. Please, please, no need to applaud. I'm but a normal human being like yourselves. It's a pleasure to be here in my own home tonight. Our theme this year is Candyland, which is why I'm dressed before you like a poor man's Willy Wonka. You know, I've got the hat and the cane. It's not like a candy cane or anything, it's just sort of like a stick. You know, I once knew a man who had a whole collection of candy canes. Yeah, they were in mint condition. Anyway, I seriously want to thank you all for being here. I know this isn't exactly how we like to have our banquet, but you tuned in anyway, and I really appreciate that. Now, on with the show. There's so much time and so little to do. Just strike that. Reverse it. And now it's time for our first round of awards. Now it's time to give out some awards. This first award is for Quickest Costume Change. Ah, thank you. And the award goes to Kelsey Gallagher. Kaylee Morrison and Cameron Ciencia for the Russians in Matilda. Every role in the show is important, and this next award goes to someone who made the most out of their featured role. This is the Encore Award, and it goes to... Isaiah White for Fiddler on the Roof. These next awards go to people who work very hard in our department and always do it with a smile on their face. Miss Congeniality goes to Kelsey Gallagher and Lexi Glenn. And Mr. Congeniality goes to Heath Rawls. We are a school after all. And this next award goes to someone who works very hard every day to be better than he was the previous day. Mr. Most Improved goes to Michael Nord. These next awards go to two people that never fail to make you laugh. Thank you, thank you for this. Lisa is in blank. It's just a, it's a prop. I, it's, it's the same sheet of paper I've been using. I've fooled you. I've fooled you all. This is, it's not real. None of this is real. This is, this is just, I, I've put up like a, like a thing. You see, that's the real wall. Do you feel cheated? It's like I was Christian Borel, or like I was. Anyway, the award goes to. Mr. Comedy, Xander Funnyman Gensel, and Miss Comedy, Arden Flights. We'd be a pretty bad theater department if we didn't have any sets. This next award goes to someone who knows what they're doing with a drill. The Handy Mandy Award goes to Ben Watts. Society throughout the ages who have changed our lives significantly. These are the greats Leonardo da Vinci, Sir Isaac Newton, Albert Einstein. All of these people were the biggest brains of their respective generations. This next award goes to our modern day equivalent the person with the biggest brain, I mean brain. 
Thank you. And the award goes to um, Is this real? But this, like, this is like a joke, right? You're nodding. You're nodding your head. What? What does that mean? Is real? Does that mean what? All right, all right, all right, all right. The biggest brain award goes to Austin Henry. My final award to give out goes to someone who has done an outstandingly phenomenal job at creating a character and acting on stage. The Outstanding Role Award goes to Blake Kump as John Dodge in Middletown. And now, it's time to highlight some of our seniors. Cassie Pauly has been in theater for four years at Boyd, and she is planning on attending California State University at Fullerton in the fall. Cassie is going to be a psychology major, and she had a 3.7 GPA at Boyd. Cassie is not only a national honor thespian, but she is also a thespian scholar. She also has honor cords for freshman, sophomore, and junior years at Boyd. Canyon Ramos is the president of Troop 7052. He has also served as the co-captain of the Broadway Broncos Comedy Corps Improv Troupe. Canyon is a national honor thespian with four years in theater and qualifies to be a thespian scholar with a 3.6 GPA. Canyon has won multiple awards during his time at McKinney Boyd. First will I have to give out is um, this red flag. And it, uh, it was given to me by Caleb Hutchinson and it was given to him uh, by Chewy Morn. Um, and I consider Chewy sort of like the, the founder of this sort of like bond that the boys have of our department. Um, and that's boys as in a group, not boys as in the gender. You know, any girl can be one of the boys, but um, I digress. Um, yeah, so uh, this goes to someone who I, I really admire for being there for just anyone and everyone. Um, I, I am really inspired by his ability to just connect with people and his willingness to show solidarity uh, with his fellow um, peers. Um, so this award is about bringing people together um, and the Brothers in Arms will goes to Christopher McCracken. Uh, the last will I have to give out was um, given to me last year uh, by Hagen Paulson. Um, and it's meant an awful lot to me over the past year. Um, to an extent, it's really difficult for me to part with it just because I, I, um, I love it so much. Um, but it goes to someone who's entirely worthy and um, it's this little calculator watch that uh, Marty the Fly wears in Back to the Future. Um, and the, the will is called the Out of Time Will um, because the license plate in Back to the Future says Out of Time. Um, and it goes to someone who I wish I had, who I wish I had more time with. Um, this person has been there with me through thick and thin, um, and I can't thank them enough for all the wacky escapades and fun adventures and um, and heart to heart moments. Um, I want this person to give uh, this award to someone who's really, really incredibly special to them. Um, 
because it's so important to me and it was so important to Hagen. Um, but yeah, <laughs> thank you. The out of time will goes to Michael Nori. Maddie Hall has been in theater for four years at Boyd as well. Maddie is a national honor thespian and has performed on the main stage at the Texas Thespian Festival. Maddie is a thespian scholar with a 3.9 GPA and will be attending the University of Texas to study stage management in the fall. Peyton Dersh is also a Broadway Bronco for four years. She has qualified for international competition at the Thespian Festival three times and is a Thespian Scholar with a 4.5 GPA. Peyton is also in the top 10% of her class at McKinney Boyd. She will be attending Southern Methodist University studying anthropology and biology. So, um, thank you for coming to our virtual banquet. It is now time to reveal the banquet video for 2019 through 2020. Um, I know we couldn't get all the memories that we wanted because we ended early, but I think you guys will enjoy this video. So without further ado, let's get into this year's banquet video. You set me free.
And now, it's time for some more awards! Alright, this next award goes to the theater mom, which means the person who's just the most supportive in the department on the girl's side, and obviously that award goes to Ellie Lehman, since she's always there for everybody and a great friend. It's probably the spookiest award because it's best costume, and that goes to Cameron Ciencia as Frumacera and Fiddler on the Roof. The award is dedicated to the technicians that put in a ton of work both on and off stage and that are just always there to help everyone. And that award for outstanding technicians go to Ben Watson and Ethan Beale. This next award is for most iconic character voice, and that'll go to Peyton Dirsch as Mrs. Wormwood and Matilda. This next award goes to the most supportive male person in the department, uh, who's always there for everybody. Obviously, Canyon Ramos, great friend to everyone, and he gets the Theater Dad Award. This next award I also have a very personal connection to as the previous winner of Most Memorable Bit, but that'll go to Braylon Jackson for the Matilda Death Drop in Revolting Children, I believe. Uh, this next award is for Best Dress, and I believe we all saw it coming, which is uh, Canyon Ramos. You always see him with the best outfits every day, so congrats. I've been asked to give some advice to the underclassmen about getting through high school. I unfortunately cannot do this because I didn't get all the way through high school. You know, I think us, like the class of 2020, got through 94% of our high school, but um, I mean, still, that's pretty good. It's, you know, better than most people. Um, but my advice for that 94% that I did go through would be um, that school is painfully repetitive, uh, so I've always tried to find ways of making something ordinary to something special. You know, that's why I like to wear fancy clothes on days that probably don't mean that much. Um, you know, it's my little way of making every day a special event. Um, so my advice would be to take risks, go on as many John Hughes-esque adventures through high school as possible. Um, and really enjoy it. Do what you love, because it'll be over before you know it. I mean, to quote Ferris Bueller, life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop and look around once in a while, you can miss it. All that being said, I did only get through 94%, so that other like 6%, your last uh, school quarter of, of high school, I can't, I can't help you with, not at all, really. So uh, good luck. And now it's time to look at some more seniors. Ben Watson has been a Broadway Bronco for four years and has done both tech and acting on many productions. He is a thespian scholar with a 3.67 GPA and has also achieved the honor of International Honor Thespian. Ben is attending the University of West Florida in Pensacola and will be studying environmental sciences. Um, thank you guys for the last four years. Uh, I'll never forget this time. Um, thank you to Mr. Pitzer and Miss D, Miss Englander, for um, believing in me and giving me a love that I didn't know I had. So. Emily Turhorse is a four-year thespian and has a 3.13 GPA. Emily plans on attending Baylor University and getting a degree in marketing. Molly Casey is another one of our great four-year Broadway Broncos. 
Molly is an international honor thespian with a 2.7 GPA. She is also the previous winner of the Board Award. Molly is planning on attending Stephen F. Austin University and will be studying theater. Whitney Ecker is a four-year Broadway Bronco. She is also an international honor thespian and a thespian scholar with a 3.5 GPA. Whitney has been recognized by McKinney Boyd High School as an outstanding freshman and with the Distinguished Student Award. Whitney has also served as a choir section leader. She will be attending William Woods University in the fall and will be studying theater and sign language. Ellie Lehman is also a four-year Broadway Bronco. She is a thespian scholar with a 3.7 GPA, and she is a national honor thespian as well. Ellie will be attending Belmont University and studying vocal performance, for which she has won multiple awards during her time at Boyd. Erica Clausen is a thespian scholar with a 3.8 GPA. She's also on the honor roll. She will be attending BYU-Idaho and studying animal science. Now we want to recognize a star senior who has gone above and beyond to represent the Broadway Broncos in the best way possible for four straight years. And that star senior is Cassie Pauley. Each year, our thespian officers get to vote on the winner of the board award, which is a student they respect for working hard and representing our department well. This year's winner is Ethan Horton. Congratulations, Ethan. Your name will be put on a plaque that hangs in our trophy case. And now it's time to announce our officers for Troop 7052 for the 2020 2021 school year. Officers will be Braille Jackson, Arden Flights, Emily Wines, Kaylee Morrison, Madison Page. Keith Rawls, Lake Jones, Chris McCracken, Kaylee Brown, Louise Jordan, Lexi Glenn. Joey Canick, Jax Shuck, and Hannah Haddad. And our president for next year will be Heath Rawls. Our next senior that we would like to recognize is Kelsey Gallagher. She's a four-year thespian and has reached the level of International Honor Thespian. She is also a thespian scholar with a 3.78 GPA and has been recognized in the past as an outstanding student in theater. She also has multiple academic excellence awards and will be attending the University of Houston to achieve a BFA in acting. So the will that I will be passing down is called You're a Gem, and I was given this my sophomore year of high school. And the person I'm giving this to has become honestly like a sister of me. She's just an amazing person all around, and she is so, so funny. She never fails to make me laugh and smile, and just being around here always makes my mood better. Um, and I know everyone can agree. 
Um, she's just such a fun person to be around and not to mention she is so incredibly talented. Um, so yeah, the person I'm giving this to is Kaylee Morrison. I love you so much, girl. Hey guys, it's Cameron and I will be giving away an award. So a little backstory on this. Um, one day we were rehearsing on the stage for the end of your musical theater showcase and we were working on the time warp and I was doing a little tab number with Kelsey and we were facing upstage so our backs were to the audience and I like squatted down to do a wing and when I came back up I heard this nasty ripping noise and sure enough Everything was out there. My pants had completely ripped down the middle. And I was totally exposed, and poor Misty in the audience had just got to see everything. And so I did a little flat situation off stage, totally embarrassed. Everyone was dying laughing, like horrible, horrible, so awkward. My mom had to bring me a new pair of pants. Anyways, so the award I'll be giving is most likely to rip their pants on stage, and I'll be giving that to Kaylee Morrison because I just could not think of anyone more silly and kind of stupid to give this to. She's always making everyone laugh and we're always having so much fun whenever we're with her. So congrats Kaylee. Whenever I get to see you next, you'll be receiving the actual pair of pants that I've ripped. Maybe you can pass this down one day or maybe you can just frame it in your room so you will always have this little piece of me. Um, so yeah, congratulations Kaylee. And I love and miss you guys so much and I can't wait until I can see you guys again soon. Emily Alt is a four-year Broadway Bronco who has earned many awards. She is an international honor thespian and a thespian scholar with a 3.8 GPA. She has qualified for national competition and she has performed on the main stage at the Texas Thespian Festival. Emily is also a member of the National Honor Society. She will be attending Pace University this fall and will be studying English. Braylon Jackson is an international honor thespian with four years in our department. He is also a thespian scholar with a 3.5 GPA. Braylon won the award for best actor at the Texas Thespian Festival this year for his performance in Matilda. Braylon is also a member of the student advisory committee at McKinney Boyd and he plans to attend Collin College for his first year and then go to the University of Oklahoma to study dance. So next will I'm giving <laughs> <laughs> the next one I'm giving down is from Natalie Dupre. It's the Spice Girls Will. Uh, she originally gave it to people who were a part of Actors Nightmare, but <laughs> but this time around I'm just giving it to people who I think I can relate to a lot and I just see a lot of myself in them. So this time I'm, I'm moving down my Will along with another Spice Girls Will who is no longer with us. They didn't die or anything, but they just are no longer with us. So I'm giving it down to Brielle Jackson and Isaiah White. So last year, Emily Carruth wrote me down the Paintbrush Wheel Award, which meant I was responsible for painting the tiles on the ceiling after each show. Um, as we know, I only did one tile because I was super busy, but this year I'm gonna wheel it down to two people that I know will dedicate all their time to painting the tiles and do a beautiful job at it. So I'm willing down the Paintbrush Wheel Award to Lexi Glenn and Louise Jordan. So the next one I'm giving down is called The Smile Will, and it was given down to me and Brielle by Adam and Michaela White. So this time, or so normally when they got it, they said they were going to give it down to two siblings that were just really happy and just spread joy. And so this time we're continuing the tradition, and we're going to give it down to two more sets of siblings. Um, and this time we're going to give it to Ansley and her brother Miles. The next one I'm giving down is called The Hot Stuff Will. This was given to me by Joshua Murray, and he didn't really explain why I was given this will. He just kind of gave it to me. It was like, hot stuff, Braylon Jackson. So I'm giving this to, to someone who literally, I think is the only person that understands me 100% of the time. I think we share brain cells. Like I literally think this person is a part of my mind. And I love this person so much, and I, they're gonna accomplish a lot of great things next year. So I'm giving the hot stuff will down to Kaylee Morrison. 
Austin Henley is a four-year thespian who has also reached the level of honor thespian. Austin has a 3.9 GPA, is an AP scholar, and a thespian scholar. Austin will be attending the University of Washington and studying history. Ethan Beal is a four-year Broadway Bronco who has a 3.0 GPA. Ethan plans to work in the theater industry in the local area once we get back to normal. Sean Heater is an honor thespian with a 4.63 GPA that definitely makes him a thespian. Thespian Scholar. He's also in the top 10% of his class at Boyd and a member of the National Honor Society. Sean will be attending Tulane University. He will be studying biology and pre-med. So, you finally did it. You finally made it through four years of Sean Heater. So, we have finally come to the end of our little venture here at the Broadway Broncos, and um, I was trying to think of something funny to say, but quarantine has just about robbed me of anything creative. So, I guess I'll go with the sentimental goodbye. Let's start off with a solid um, thank you to everybody that's been uh, part of my life for these past four years. And um, even though I kind of took a bit of a gap year in my junior year, you guys still made me feel like I was part of the family. Even after coming back after the year, I met so many new people and a lot of old friends and I just kind of felt home again. So um, I want to say thank you to everybody that's been involved with everything <laughs> and for all of the friends and amazing connections I've made along the way I just want to give one final little goodbye that sucked <laughs> but seriously I felt truly truly blessed to have you guys um, I don't think I would be here if not for uh, the Broadway Broncos and all the connections I've made, whether it be through the musicals, plays, IEs, or whatever. Um, big shout out to um, Mr. Pitzer, who I've known for the past four years and has always been an incredible director and always fun to be around, and Ms. D, who I was introduced to this year and absolutely loved working on the uh, um, UIL when it was still a play. Uh, <laughs> and to the rest of you that um, I haven't gotten to know, uh, I wish you all well. Um, I wish we had a bit more time this year to uh, connect, but I think all of you are truly amazing and are destined to do big things. Um, and just remember, everyone, that your talent is a... <laughs>
This feels weird. Braylon Jackson. How do I even begin to describe our strangely beautiful friendship? Um, you've been such a blessing to me over the course of my middle school and high school career, and I don't know where I would be if it wasn't for you and your beautiful family, and you've been such a genuine inspiration to so many people over the past four years. I cannot begin to describe the impact you've made. And I can't wait to see where this next chapter takes you. And I have such a special place for you in my heart. And I love you so much. And I'm so excited to see, oh no, what you can begin to accomplish. So, to the next chapter. Hi Braylon, um, I just wanted to like tell you how much of an impact you have made on every single person here. Whenever I see you anywhere, in the halls, in the theater department, you always make me feel welcome and happy and you always make me laugh and smile. Everything you do, you do it with such like a big heart and kindness and wanting to make everybody feel good about themselves. It just, it makes me want to do that too and that, it's, it's huge. You make everybody feel so good about themselves and I love that. You always make me laugh. You're just an amazing person. I won't be surprised if I see you on a Broadway show coming up. I'm gonna miss you a lot, but I know you're not gonna be gone. And you're always gonna come back and say hi. I love you and I miss you. Braylon is one of those people that I can just look at him and we're always on the same wavelength. He is crazy and so funny. I adore that man so much. And I am very sad that he's leaving. But I, I know he's gonna, he's so talented and I'm just excited to see what he does. I love you, Braylon. Dear Braylon, you are one of the nicest, kindest, and funniest people I know. I cannot imagine what my high school life would be like without you in it. And I can't imagine what it's gonna be like without you. <sighs> I honestly have no idea what I would have done had I not met you freshman year at the ITS convention. You were so nice and welcoming and so inviting. It just made me feel so welcome to a place that I was so new to. Man. I am gonna miss you so much. And I don't think that theater is going to be the same without you. And this year, just pop in the class, just be like, hey. I don't know what it's going to be like. And I really don't want to find out. But we have to. And it really sucks that your senior year got canceled. But you're Braylon. You'll make the best out of it. I know you will. You always do. So you're really not supposed to do this, but I don't really care. Um, Braylon Jackson, you're my brother. You're my brother. Um, I just want to say I'm proud of you. And it sucks that you're leaving me, and that uh, it just really sucks. Um, I'm proud of you for reaching your dreams and doing what you love to do. Um, I can't say what my favorite memory is because we live together, but thank you for always being here for me, being my shoulder for everyone. Um, this is really hard to make. I'm not gonna lie. Um, <laughs> Oh, I love you. The table is and... prepared for you. <laughs> Stay peachy perfect. Kelsey Gallagher, she's just one of the nicest people I know. She's so freaking talented and amazing. Um, I love her a lot. I'm gonna miss her a lot next year, so I love you, girly. Hey, Kelsey, we just wanted to say how extremely proud we are of you. Um, Thank you for everything you've done for the department and everybody around you. We are so lucky to have you. You are truly one of the most amazing actresses I've ever seen in my entire life. And I really look up to you. 
um, as an actress because you can just get on stage and amaze the crowd and I'm sure pretty much every other person has looked up to you too. Um, I'm so excited you're doing acting in college because it's something you really excel in and I just can't wait to see where you go with that. Um, thanks for always bringing positivity and kindness to others in the department and just doing so much and putting your all into everything. It's really truly inspiring and thanks for being um, such a good friend to those around you and I can't, I can't imagine what it's going to be like without you and I hope you have the best time in Houston. I love you so much beautiful dog. Um, I hope everyone's doing well. So Kelsey Gallagher is definitely one of the most genuinely kind of people I've met in my life and I really look up to her. I kind of want to be here when I grow up. Um, so I just wanted to make this video to say that I really appreciate you, Kelsey. And um, I think every freshman remembers that um, first kind gesture you get from an upperclassman and it just makes you feel so warm and welcome and included. And for me, that was Kelsey. She probably doesn't remember it, but I definitely do because it made me feel so included. Um, I think I can say with the utmost confidence that she's going to be famous one day and that she's going to be on Broadway and she's going places because she's so talented and just so beautiful inside and out. She lights up everything she walks into. Um, I think I speak for everyone when I say that. We're really gonna miss her a lot, and um, I wish that I got to be closer with her, but it is what it is, and I'm really gonna miss you, Kelsey, so bye. What? Okay, what do I even say? What do I say? Um, thank you. You're probably like, well, thank you for what? But thank you for being that one sophomore in, in photo class who wanted to be my partner, who helped me through everything. You were there for me through my first heartbreak. Um, thank you for always being my partner and crying and always being a shoulder to cry on. And I love you. There's, oh God, I don't even know what our favorite memory is because we've had so many. Um, I love you, you're gonna do great things in college. And stay in touch. Hey Kelsey, um, I hope that you are doing well during this quarantine. Um, I just wanted to say that you've been a huge inspiration for me this year. I was about to say summer. A <laughs> uh, huge inspiration for me this year. Um, your, worth, your work ethic is just amazing and your attitude towards everybody is so positive and it's really inspiring. Um, I would like to thank you for all the rides that you've given me after rehearsal. I know it's a lot to do because when you're tired and stuff like that, so you're amazing for doing that kind of stuff. Um, but anyways, I just wish the best for you. Um, you 100% deserve it and I hope to see you again. <laughs> Hey Ellie, um, I just wanted to let you know how much you mean to me. Everything you've ever done since I've been here has always been welcoming and sweet and you're just such a beautiful and amazing person inside and out. From the rides home you give me to the tinsel in the hair, you have made such a great impact in my life. And I'm only a freshman and I just, I'm gonna miss you so much, it's insane. But I know you're gonna go on to do great things. You probably have one of the best voices I've ever heard in my entire life. And I know whatever you do, you will succeed beautifully. And I just, I'm really gonna miss you, but you're gonna have a great time in life. I love you. When I think of the overall mom of a group, I think of Ellie Lehman. She is the kindest person you'll ever meet. If I'm ever having a bad day, I just look over and she's like, I got you, baby. And it's just going to be a good day after I talk to her. I don't know what I'm going to do without her, but I'm really proud of her. And I'm so excited to see what she does. I love you, Ellie. <laughs> hey, Ellie. It's Lexi. Um, this video is really hard to make because there's so much I want to say to you. And I really want to make sure that you know that me and everyone else in this department values you so much and you're just such an inspiration and you're just so amazing and talented and you really really inspired me a lot just to keep on making art and just keep on trying and um, you've taught me to believe in myself which I can never I thank you for that. I'm gonna miss you so much and you're so talented and you're gonna go so far go in life and I'm so excited for you to go on that journey because that's so special. I, I love you.
love you so much, Ellie. Um, I really don't know what else to say because in such a little amount of time to really show how much someone means to you in just a little short video. But um, thanks for being the best mentor and big that I could ever have. Um, and I'm gonna miss you a lot. So, I have made this video about like a good 10 times now because every time I make it, it just makes me really sad because I'm really gonna miss you. Um, one of my favorite moments is us running in the rain trying not to be late to school um, because we always, <laughs> we always goop about it and we always end up making it on time. Um, thank you for being very compassionate and being there when I need you. I love you so much, and you're gonna do amazing things in college. All right. Beautiful, talented, amazing queen. These are some words to describe Emily Alt. She is amazing. I love her so much. I look up to that woman, and I, I can. Mm, I'm so sad she's leaving, but I cannot wait to see what she does, and I'm so proud of her. I love you, Emily. Hi, Emily. Oh, okay. Um, honestly, I'm just gonna be straightforward. Like, I'm, I'm gonna miss you. Um, <laughs> you're gonna kick ass at base. You're going to. Like, I just, I love you, and I'm glad that God was able to allow us to get closer this year. Allow us to be in two classes, technically. Um, Spending every day with you and going to lunch with you and talking about everything was really the highlight of my year. I'm glad that we were able to do that. Um, as I said before, you're going to kick ass at pace. Proud of you for getting into it. I'm proud of you for following your dreams. All right. I love you. Bye. Hey, Molly. Um, I've known you since middle school. God. Like, I'm really proud of you. I'm proud of you for stepping out of your shell and being more confident in who you are and not giving two craps. Um, thank you for always being you. Like, because of who you are, I was able to love you. Well, I was gonna love you regardless, but thank you for always making me laugh. Thank you for the car rides. Thank you for everything. You are so sweet. And passionate. I'm sorry. And I don't want anyone to take that away from you because that is who you are. You're gonna do great. I love you. And keep in touch. Hey Cameron, I didn't realize I would have to make this video so quick, but I guess time flies by. Um, it feels like just yesterday um, when you offered to give me a ride to that Chicago cast party and you took your convertible top down and played my neck my back classical music and it's funny to realize that we became such good friends but um you are such a light for the de theater department and everybody in your life because you are just so insanely funny and you never ever fail to make anybody laugh and not to mention you're an incredible actress and you go so overlooked sometimes it makes me so sad but <laughs> I just wish we had more time because I can't imagine what anything's going to be like without you. And I don't know who I'm going to tell my problems to or laugh at jokes with. And I'm really so lucky to have had you in my life. And I'm going to miss you so much. And I can't wait to see what you're going to do in the future. And I really hope you come home often because if you don't, I'm going to go crazy. Um, but I just love you so much, and thanks for always being there. Thank you for the happiest of my life. Oh, hey Peyton, I just wanted to make this video to remind you, you how amazing you are and how much you're going to be missed. You are so kind and supportive and intelligent and talented, and you just make everyone, when you're on stage, all eyes go to you. You're just a showstopper. And I just, I hope you know that and you know how much we love you and respect you 
and can't wait to see all the amazing things you do. I mean, I remember when I was a sixth grader and we were at the good old Dowell Middle School watching you perform in Lion King and being like, like, am I gonna be like that when I get older? I wasn't, but you are so great. And it's been such an honor to perform with you in all of these crazy shows that we've gotten to do. And I hope that when I become an upperclassman, I can exude the confidence and motherly, wonderful person that you are. I just hope I could grow up and be like you and just encourage other people to follow their passion and just be crazy. Because honestly, you have the most energy and it is always wonderful to see you perform. I oh, I'm just so happy that I got to know you and I know you're gonna do great things just where you go in SMU and that they are super lucky to have you and that you can always come back and talk to us and we would love to talk to you again. I'm gonna miss you and I hope we can stay in touch and I just am super happy for you. So good luck, <laughs> break a leg. <laughs> Hi Peyton, um, I just wanted to say that I'm so thankful um, that I got to know you over the past two years and um, sometimes I don't think you realize how many people look up to you just like at school and in the theater department just like in general. Um, you're just, you're so talented and nice and just an all around beautiful and amazing person. Um, I know that you're going to be successful at whatever you decide to do next. Um, and it's honestly, I'm word. just jealous of the people I get to do it with you. Um, you look down on where you came from. I really hope so that this time everything's just kind of more back to normal. But you have this place to call and, on. Uh, Always. And I can't give you a big hug and wish you good luck. until I press the start button. Um, I love you. I miss you. Uh, and thanks to Steph, we don't have the same time. Bye. Canyon, what do I even say to you? Um, how do I say goodbye to one of the kindest, purest, most genuine and talented people that I've ever known? How do I say goodbye to a man that, throughout my relatively short time knowing him in high school, I've grown to look up to, as a, a role model even? Um, looking back on our friendship, I've grown to realize that it's been an incredibly meaningful experience to me. You've helped me grow as not only a performer and a member of the department, but as a person. And although we may never see each other every day again, that's something that I will cherish forever. So, from one boy to another, Canyon, I love you. The future holds great things for you, and I can't wait to see what they are. Sean Heater, how's it going, dude? You know, I don't even think it's been a year since we first met, but, you know, I'm really glad that uh, we did. Because, you know, I've noticed that, like, whenever we're hanging out or having a conversation, that you can at once be one of the funniest people I've ever met, and at the same time, one of the most genuine and down-to-earth. You know, I've had so much fun doing things with you, like, whether it be you dressing up as Sans at Jordan's Halloween party, or us winning every game of Bed Wars doubles that we play, but... I, I know that your I'm friendship is something that I'm going to value for a very long time, you. and I hope we keep in touch. And I could care less right now, but you know you hurt me pretty good too. Hi, Cassie. Yeah, we Hi. made each other please. Thank you for living, like, really close to me so I can have someone else other than Braylon to talk to you sometimes. I'm here to Thank you for the car rides. Thank you for everything. Thank you for being Bruce in the oh, love Thank you for being that other girl who played a boy. And I'm down on my knees again. Well, really Thank you for the happiest year Thank you for being so freaking talented. Thank you for... Gosh, there's so many things to say thank, thank you for the happiest but year of my life. I'm gonna miss you. Oh, Can you text me? Hey Cassie, um, I just wanted to 
tell you how incredibly amazed we all are by you. You truly have the best voice I've ever heard in my entire life. It's like an angel came down and blessed my ears and I really wish she would show it off more because it's truly a gift from God. But above that is your kindness for others and how much you've done for the department. Like you truly make everybody you come around feel so special and loved and you always make me laugh. And I just love being around you. And it's so sad to see you go because I'm gonna miss you so much. But I know it's for the best because you're gonna do such amazing things with your future. And we are so lucky to have known you like that. Um, I just wish we had more time. Um, we love you so much, Cassie. Thank you for everything you did and I love you so much. If you could like say there's a dad of the department, the first person that comes to mind for me is Ethan Beal. He's just the most supportive person and he's been supportive to me for the three years I've been here, even though we've never been like the closest. He's always just been there for me. He's been there for everybody. Like, admittedly, I've had a few breakdowns backstage, but he's always been there. He's always seeked out ways to help people and support them and make sure they're doing okay. And like, even on the day that we found out about uh, Aiden, I was alone in the green room and hidden off from everybody, but he came in, he was the only person to come in, and he just checked on me, and he was just seeing if I was doing okay, and I just loved it so much, and I'm gonna miss him terribly, because he's just the most caring person, even if you've met him once in your life, he'll make sure you're doing okay, and if he sees you're upset, he checks to make sure you're, like, you get better, it's just, it's crazy. There's few people as great as you. If you could like say there's a dad of the department, the first person that comes to mind for me is Ethan Beale. He's just the most supportive person and he's been supportive to me for the three years I've been here, even though we've never been like the closest. He's always just been there for me, he's been there for everybody. Admittedly, I've had a few breakdowns backstage, but he's always been there. He's always seeked out ways to help people and support them and make sure they're doing okay. And like, even on the day that we found out about Aiden, I was alone in the green room and hidden off from everybody, but he came in. He was the only person to come in, and he just checked on me. And he was just seeing if I was doing okay. And I just loved it so much, and I'm gonna miss him terribly because he's just the most caring person even if you've met him once in your life he'll make sure you're doing okay if he sees you're upset he checks to make sure you're like you get better it's just it's crazy there's few people as great as Ethan Ben Watson where do I start with you you were um one of the first people that I became good friends with when I initially joined the department and therefore one of the main reasons why I decided to commit to being in theater. You're just such a friendly, outgoing, kind and passionate person and like whenever I talked to you, even last year when I didn't know you that well, like I just loved having conversations with you. One thing about you that I admire is that you take responsibility for so much. You genuinely care for everyone around you. And that that's just something I look up to immensely. And I know that's gonna get you very far in life. And I can't wait to see where it takes you. I've been fighting all my life for you. I never should have said goodbye. Great. But maybe that's what stupid people do. I know that this last year you gave hasn't me been fear. the greatest for you. And I wasted it. Statement. But I just hope that I'm here you just to admit go off and do what you enjoy. That you were my medicine. Don't let anyone ever stop you. Oh, I couldn't Good luck. quit. Whatever you do next. And I'm down on my knees again. Yeah. Asking.
Hi, Erica. Um, I'm in charge of your senior video, and I just wanted to say that you're amazing and awesome, and I've loved spending time with you these past few years, and I cannot wait to see where you go. Uh, this, is, this is just, it's surreal to me because I forget that everyone gets old and goes places and does things and I hope that you have a great time. I hope you have a lot of fun and you meet people and you get to take all the classes you want to take and I wish you the best in all that you do and that you have a great time and a wonderful time. And thank you for being my friend these past few years. It's been awesome. Cole Henderson, you immaculate human being. Hanging out with you in third period and doing scenes with you in improv is legit like some of the most fun I've had in the department this year. Like watching you in improv, making a scene. Like I'm always just like very impressed by the places you can think of taking the scene. You're just like incredibly good at what you do. I'm, I'm really glad I got to meet you because you're genuinely one of the funniest people I've ever met. Um, yeah. I wish this year could have gone longer because I, I, I still want to do scenes with you, dude. But I'm really glad we got to meet each other, and I I know you're gonna go places in life. Just come back and visit us. Shamika is an icon. Um, I'm really gonna miss her, and I look up to her a lot. Her style is immaculate. I got to share a room with her at ITS, and I just think she's the coolest. So I'm really gonna miss her a lot, and I think I speak for everyone when I say that I'm gonna miss her. Um, yeah, I just look up to her. And I can't wait to see what she does after high school because I think she's so talented. And um, yeah, I'm gonna miss her. Thank you for the happiest day of my life. The thing I'm absolutely going to remember most is all of you wonderful people. Um, every single person I've come into contact with, the Broadway Broncos, is, you're all fantastic. I love you all so much. Um, I wish I could list every single name. I had a big, long, long list. It was about like seven pages. And then I realized, oh, people probably don't want to just listen to me say names for five minutes. Um, so. Anyway, I've cut it down a little bit, but if your name isn't here, I really just want you to know that I, I admire you so much and I wish I could hug you right now and I think you're wonderful and fantastic and you've had a profound influence on me. Okay, firstly my boys, uh, Hagen, Austin, Sean, Chewy, Caleb, Daniel, Josh, Michael, Chris, Xander, and Heath. Love you guys, you guys have really gotten me through so, so much. Um, I can't thank you enough for all of that. Uh, Julia, I want to thank you, uh, Maddie, Emma, uh, all of the Bens, um, Schechter, Schechter, I know you're probably not watching, why would you be? You've graduated, but I, I really respect and admire you. Uh, Burke, Bowden, Rizzy, Watson, love you guys so much. Um, uh, all the teachers, of course, Leighton, Kirkley, Englander, Deanna Bell, uh, Pitzer, um, Colin, Fleetwood, uh, never gonna forget you, you're one of my boys, but you're also uh, a teacher, uh, well not here, but you know what I mean, um, never gonna forget some wonderful events like main stage in my sophomore year, I'm never gonna forget going to New York for the first time with the department, there's so much, um, I'm never gonna get being president, uh, which has been such a wonderful, profound honor, uh, that I, and I'm just, I've loved it, I've loved it so much, I wish I could do it for another year or four, um, but anyway, all of these things, all of these things I've just said pale in comparison to the most wonderful thing that's ever happened to me that uh, involves theater, which is meeting my, my wonderful girlfriend, Peyton Dirsch. I'm never, ever going to forget you. Um, I love you so much. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to remember. All of you guys.